Hey folks, and welcome to After Work Gaming. Uh, tonight, we're going to do a quick one-off because version 1.1 of Starbound is here. We just got our first big content patch, and it does add some major additions. Uh, so let's just get right in here. You can notice I'm on the dock. I'm holding this very stylish fishing rod. I actually have two. We'll get to that in a second. You know, it's a good time to kick back, have a, have a little juice. Uh, here's my bait, shall we say. Not really, you don't really need bait, but, uh, you know, when you're designing it, it's nice to know. It's nice to have a little something. And let's just cast. And it opens up this little mini game, I guess. Now, I've learned, and there you go, out of, out of the depths come the fish. And, of course, he's probably going to run and snap my line. So, if you saw, the hook will descend pretty far down. But you can actually stop it, I've, I've found, by just quickly little, giving it a little, a little reel in. And that'll just hang here. And then most likely there will be another type of fish, because it, it, depending on where in the water column, there we go, we got a we got a customer right now. We got two. And they got to check it out. Now let's just reel him in. There we go. Oop. And he's on the deck. Now, uh, the most obvious thing is to kill him for food. But you can also pick him up with uh, this other item I'm about to get to, but it's actually full right now for my purposes, uh, and move him to an aquarium or something. Or it'll just disappear over time and give you the raw fish, which you can then cook and pixels or some other stuff. Now, very rare fish, if you hover over the fishing rod, very rare fish will actually give you things to upgrade your rods with. Right now I'm using a basic lure and a basic reel. If I get better lures, better reels, less likely to, for example, snap. They're gonna attract different types of fish. Uh, and I just wanna make it clear, I'm on an ocean planet right now. Eh, come on, yeah, there we go. I like to have them next to the surface. There we go, want some more fish. Uh, I like to have them next to the surface so that I don't have to worry about them really running. It really just... It reduces the chances. Now, I said I had two types of fishing rod, and this one is the durable fishing rod for extreme environments because I don't have to fish on ocean worlds. I can go fishing on magma worlds. I can go fishing in poisonous seas, okay? And they'll have different fish, and I'll be able to catch them. And how will I know what I caught? Well, welcome to the second big addition, Collections, which let you basically, you know, like any good sandbox game, there's a lot of stuff to experience. Sometimes it's a little hard to keep track of what you did and didn't do or did and didn't find. And so you have these six collections. You have pets. What kind of pets have you had? You have trophies or action figures. So, you know, sometimes mobs or bosses will drop action figures. So you have these here. You have fishing, so here are the three fish I've been I've been catching off this dock, right? The jerkfish, it has a natural impolite demeanor. The sandy dirt whisker, this fish has evolved two extra eyes just for looking disappointed. And the toothy mud chomp, it camouflages well in the muddy seabeds where it feeds. Now of course, if I go deeper, or I think if I probably go out into the open ocean, I'll find different things, different planets, different animals. Uh, and as you can see, there are 48 different types of fish that I can that I can catch. I'm assuming the lower down in the list I go, the harder it is to catch them. Now there's also food. This isn't for your basic food, by the way, because I've, I've cooked like tomatoes and stuff. From what I can tell, this is actual recipes from the kitchen table. What kind of fossils you found, and what kind of bugs you've caught. So, you know, this is just something to tick off the marks and to just fill it out. It's just one more way of tracking your progress, just one more thing to do in essentially one of the most varied sandbox games uh, that I've actually had a, a, the pleasure of playing. Now, before I show you this other uh, very interesting tool, let me just show you where it all comes from. Uh, fair warning, when I told uh, one of my commenters that Lefty, who is this Nova kid right here, is Big Fat Cheater, I'm not kidding, I really rushed through to get here, so everything here is new. I have never crafted any of this stuff. But, a fishing rod I've crafted. Now you can craft only the basic fishing rod from the foraging table. If you want the durable fishing rod, you have to go to the agriculture table. And here it is, the durable fishing rod. It takes a little deer steel, a little synthetic material, some silver bars. And then you can also craft this, the relocator. Now, this is the third major addition. Now, this is the relocator. It is at, currently, it is full, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. It can hold up to three friendly creatures for you to then move around. And it just so happened that before I turned on the camera, I went and did a little fishing on my own. And while we still have the sun, I just want to go over here because I also made this little, you know, artificial holding area. I don't want to kill him right away. This is kind of like a live catch situation. 
So the right mouse button captures the creature. The left mouse button releases the creature from the device. So I want to release one of my fish. Boom. Now you notice there is one less pip on the device. This is an at-a-glance way of, sh of showing whether or not, first off, the device is full and how many creatures are inside. Let's put the second fish in there for display purposes. You can just see they're all somewhat gr grumpy looking, but that's fine. Now the third one, I'm feeling, I'm feeling generous. I'm feeling gregarious. So, uh, gregarious? No, I'm feeling generous. I'm sorry. Uh, gregarious is a totally different word. Let's release this fish. And the fish is free. And there it is. That is a relocator. Now you can use this on pets. You can use this on livestock. You can't use this, obviously, on wild animals because they're not friendly. These have to be friendly mobs. I've tried. I've had, like, a bird sit down right here. And I've tried to capture him. No, it doesn't work. Now, this is pretty much the major additions that I can show you. There's a fourth major addition for those of you, and I know there are quite a few, who really love the Nova Kid. Well, brace yourselves. Nova Kid Furniture, Nova Kid NPC Villages, and Nova Kid NPC vill uh, uh, Colonists are now in this game. You're going to be able to find saloons, you're going to find like old western towns, and they'll be populated by Nova Kid. Nova Kid now have options to say things, not just when you scan things, but they'll actually talk to you uh, in, in terms of their dialogue. And, now if you remember the frog merchant in the outpost who sells the furniture that rotates every single actual day, not in-game day. Now, he used to have saloon-like furniture for sale. That was one of his sets. That's gone because now you can pick it up in the wild from these Nova villages. Instead, he's going to have what's called a pastel set. It's not available at the moment in, in my game, so I can't show you. But it's going to have another type of colonist that's going to show up, a totally unique colonist to that specific set. Now... Uh, as I said, I wanted to show you the Nova Kid Village, but uh, it's true that I, I haven't found any yet. So I'm just going to leave it for you guys to discover. I'm going to look forward to discovering them as well. Uh, if you want to discover it together, feel free to watch the playthrough. I'm sure we'll stumble upon them eventually. You know, I just kind of blunder around the, the galaxy trying to complete some quests, but mostly just having fun. The last thing I want to mention, this is sort of a, a, it's a slow rate point, but I think some people were having problems where they were trying to, to get the Mother Pop Top where they were trying to get enough of the core fragments in order to activate the gate, the ancient gate on the starter planet. And, you know, if you kill the mother pop top, you get some core fragments, and then you can get some more core fragments from the boxes in the mine. But I guess some people were having a problem where, even with the mine and with the mother pop top, they just weren't getting enough core fragments. So now, what Chucklefish has done is they've just gone ahead and said, oh, if you kill the mother pop top, you get your 20 core fragments. That's it. That's the end of the quest. You can go ahead and loot the rest of the mine, but we're just going to make sure that you get enough just from defeating that first sort of tutorial boss, let's say. And that's it. That is Starbound 1.1. Uh, you know, there's bug fixes and stuff. I'm going to link to the to the uh, change log so you guys can see what else has been done. But I am just thrilled by the fishing aspect. I'm thrilled by the collections aspect because now I can keep track of things. And the relocator is actually a lot of fun. Uh, I don't really do livestock on the playthrough yet, but eventually, especially when I start moving around and rebuilding villages, it helps a lot. Uh, the Nova Kid, I'm super excited about. In any case, I hope you enjoy this. I hope uh, you enjoy version 1.1 of Starbound as much as I do. I'm looking forward to playing more of it. I hope you join me for the playthrough. Uh, if you don't, that's fine. Like, comment, subscribe if you like this. If you want to see more of this, you want me to do more sort of just quick spotlights on features. Uh, if not, if you want to see something else, if you have a special request, go ahead and throw a comment down there. Everything's welcome. And in any case, I'll see you all next time. Better, 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 better.